Hey guys. guys, so for today's video I have my sister with me and I transformed her into me I thought this would be a really cool video to do I saw so many youtubers including Carly Bybell do this So I figured why not take my sister and transform her into me? She's also has like a completely different style to me She has blonde hair with brown eyes. I have black hair with blue eyes So it's just really cool to like take that and transform it I've never done anything like this where I've done any sort of transformation So it was really interesting to do I've also never ever put on a wig before or like worked with wigs before so yeah, I mean the wig may not be perfect, but it was the first time so cut us some slack. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was super interesting putting it on. So if you guys are not subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe. My sister also has her own channel, so I will leave her link down below. Also, don't forget to sign up for notifications so that you never miss a video. And other than that, if you guys are interested in checking out how I transform my sister into me, then make sure to keep on watching. So let's get started with the makeup. So the first thing I did was spray her face with some MAC Fix Plus and also some Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I just got her to put on some blue contacts off camera. I will put the ones that we used linked down below. So I'm starting off with primer. This is my favorite one and it's really hydrating, which is good for her too, because she actually has a little bit drier skin than I do. So this is gonna be super moisturizing. This is the Huda Beauty Pre Makeup Base. And I am using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. She also uses this foundation and loves it, but I wanted to use my exact foundation shade so that we can be the exact same shade. So you'll notice I'm also applying it down the neck so that we're the same shade and everything matches. So we're also gonna be wearing a high neck top today too, so you don't really need to put it on the chest, just all over the face and bring it down the neck. And also don't forget the ears. And of course I am blending that out with my beauty blender and it's damp. So again, just to make sure the neck matches, I am applying a little bit of that foundation on the neck as well. And my face is a lot more rounder than hers is, so I am going to work on rounding out her face a bit more. So you'll notice I'm taking this concealer and bringing it all the way out towards the temples. And what this is going to do is really widen her face in that area and make it a little bit more round. And I'm also bringing it down the center of the face and the nose and everything like that. And I am blending it out with my absolute fave. This is the Sigma 3D HD sponge and it is damp of course. And I am going to apply a little bit of that on the lids too, just to kind of pre-prep for the eyeshadow we're going to do later on. And I am going to set the under eye and set the places that we concealed with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm just using that really nice yellow shade. And I am using a damp beauty blender to apply the powder, which I actually have really been liking lately. So I'm taking the Wet n Wild Oaks on You to do some bronzing, but again, I want to make her cheeks appear a little bit fuller. So you'll notice that I'm taking this and kind of rounding it out when I get to the bottom of that. And I'm also not going to apply any contour or any bronze on the temples because again, I want the temples to be highlighted to widen the face. And then I am going to contour and bronze the forehead quite a bit because that's going to squish her face a little bit and make it look a little bit more rounder. And I am applying the other shade, Where's Walnut, just to do a little bit of extra definition and contour. So I'm also going to contour the chin area and I'm also going to make this chin look a little bit more square. Like I mentioned, her face is a little bit more oval, so I'm making it a little bit more square. So I normally contour my nose, so I am going to add a little bit of contour on her nose as well. This is the Rimmel Duo Contour Stick in the shade Dark. And I am going to set those areas that I cream bronze with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette in the middle shade. So I am applying a little bit of blush. This is the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. And I am taking some highlighter. This is my absolute fave Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And as you can tell, I'm applying that on the C. Normally for me, I would skip applying highlight towards the temple area, but for her, I am taking all the way in that C motion because again, that's going to widen the face and make it appear a little bit more round. And of course, I always put some highlight on the nose. So for the brows, you guys, I was so nervous for this part. I was like, oh my God, how am I going to get the brows right? But I just went ahead and used the Anastasia Ebony Brow Wiz. And I wanted to give her brows a little bit more of an arch, but I didn't want to go totally crazy. But anyways, yeah, so I filled it in a little bit, made them a little bit darker. She does originally have dark brows, so it's kind of easy to do. Now, my brows are pretty feathery on the inner corner. So I went ahead and just put hair-like strokes on the front of her brow just to give them a little bit more of that feather-like appearance. 
And I did finish it off with some Benefit Gimme Brow Gel in the shade 5. Taking a little bit of powder, I'm just going to set the eyes to prep for some shadows. So we're going to be using Anastasia's Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm taking the shade Raw Sienna. We both have pretty small eyes, so I want to make the eyes look bigger. So I'm just taking that shade and applying it above the crease to create the illusion of a bigger eye and a higher crease. And I am going to apply that on the outer corner as well, and also underneath the lower lash line. You guys know I like a smoked out lower lash. And I'm just blending, blending, blending some more. This is a pretty basic look for me, just some nice shadow in the crease and the smoked out lower lash. So like I mentioned, I want to make her eyes look bigger. So I'm taking some concealer and mapping out her lid more than it is. So just bringing it up a little bit higher. This is going to give the appearance that she actually has a bigger eye. And I am applying some of that same highlight, the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Getter, all over the lid. I'm also going to take the deep brown in the palette and just put that on the lash line and then with some mascara, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational, my absolute fave. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on her lashes and also finish up with some falsies. For falsies, we use the Kish Kiss number 11 lashes. They are pretty much like my fave everyday go-to lashes since they are natural but still wispy and really pretty on the eye. I am going to be using L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara as well for the bottom lashes. This is my other fave. It's perfect for the bottom lashes just to give them that super long lengthened effect. So to make her lips bigger, I'm going to add some contour around them. This is going to add a really nice shadow and it will give the appearance that your lips are bigger. So this is again the Rimmel Contour Stick in the shade Dark and I'm just going to blend that out with this Morphe brush and also with a damp beauty blender. So I'm adding even more shading on the bottom lip because I do have a pretty prominent bottom lip and then a little bit still of a smaller top lip. So I really made sure that the bottom lip was extra plump. So I am taking the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural and I am overlining her lips a little bit more just to make them look a little bit bigger. This is such a pretty nude color and it's been definitely one of my go-tos lately. So I'm also overlining the top lip. My top lip is not that big so I didn't overline it a lot but I did overline it a little bit because I normally do in my normal makeup routine anyways. And then I am applying the Rimmel Stay Matte Mocha Liquid Lipstick. I love, love, love this shade and the formula is really good too. So I'm finishing off with some MAC Fix Plus and also some Glam Glow Glow Setter and that's pretty much it for the makeup. You guys, this was so much fun to do but when it came to the hair, we were all like, oh my god, what are we gonna do with this wig? Because I'm not gonna lie, the wig came a little bit cheap looking but we made it work. So how beautiful does my sister look, by the way, with her natural hair? But we are going to go ahead and just take a couple front pieces and I decided to spray some front pieces because I thought I would be able to kind of make the wig look a little bit more natural with having some you know natural hair front pieces so i decided to pull everything back for the wig but then take the front pieces and spray it black with the l'oreal root spray and it was just a mess you guys and it ended up being really unnecessary i absolutely love this l'oreal root spray for the roots but when using it on a larger area it made such a mess and we used like half the bottle but then yeah we just went ahead and popped on the wig the best that we could and that's pretty much it that is the final transformation So that is how I transformed my sister into me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it was super fun and interesting. Please don't forget to like, thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. Can I take this off now? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this wig is giving you major egghead. I know. It doesn't look like your head.